Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to a new video. So today we're gonna to be doing some store reviews. About an hour ago, I posted this on Instagram. Hey, what's going on guys? Post your store links in the box just here. I'm gonna be recording some store reviews later today. So post them there and I'll feature them on my YouTube channel. Depending on how many people submit, I'll try and get through them all today. Um, if not, then I'll do some next week as well. So yeah, post your store links. I've been posting a lot more on Instagram in the stories lately. I've just recently moved into a new office slash warehouse space to run my business from. So if you wanna see the kind of day-to-day insights of what I get up to, um, head over to Instagram and follow me on there. It will also obviously give you the chance to enter these um, whatever they are um, and obviously get an opportunity to get your site reviewed. Super important step, it doesn't matter how good your product is, how cheap you're selling it for, you could be selling gold bars 10p to the pound but if you haven't got a professional looking Shopify store then obviously nobody's going to trust you and nobody's going to buy your product. So I put out the post an hour or two ago as you can see we've had six or seven people coming in send me their store links which is great. Now disclaimer I actually recorded this video about an hour ago however my microphone died halfway through so I'm having to start again. I've already pick the three sites in which I'm going to be reviewing and that is Olea LDN Luxury Riot and CareBabyOnline.com. So stay tuned if you want to see those. Before we jump into it, just a couple of points to mention. Number one, if you haven't guessed already, I'm going to be reviewing these sites on a mobile device. The reason being is because the majority of your customers will come from mobile devices if you are including them as well as desktop users. Number two, I'm going to be super honest as well. And please forgive me if I come across as harsh in times. However, I wouldn't be doing anybody any favors if I was not to kind of point out the things that are wrong with a site. And at the end of the day, if I skip over something that needs fixing it could actually end up costing you money so I'm going to be super critical super honest and treating these like they were my own stores and recommending the improvements I would personally make myself so store number one we have OLEA London um, apologies OLEA London um, the logo is really nice it actually comes from camera I've used that particular logo myself just in different fonts and different colors um, you've got all the kind of three main accent colors so typically your site should have three main colors number one is your background color which should be white number two is your text color which typically should be black or a really dark gray and then number three is your accent color so this will be the color in your logo the color of your buttons the color of your announcement bar the kind of accents so on and so forth and that's kind of like the typical fundamental setup that I recommend initial impressions everything looks really good obviously got a nice cover photo featuring the product with what looks like business cards scattered around. So again, it just makes your site look super professional, which is nice. You've got the custom domain announcement bar for 15% off. So far, so good. One added feature you have is the chat with us button. I'm just gonna click on this, make sure everything looks pretty good. Um, so a nice little chat function, which is good. I recommend this, in fact, to a lot of the people that are a member of my academy to have this installed on your site. And um, just in case somebody has a particular question they want to try and get the answer to super quickly, giving them the option, they can do that. And then you can kind of secure the purchase um, within the DMs, if you like. Moving down the website, we can see they have a nice photo of lots of information featuring the product. One small little gripe. Can you see there the kind of screen bounces? Um, up and down because the images are of a different size. If it was me personally, I would crop these others or make this one a bit bigger just so they're all uniform and nicely, um, nice and professional. Next up, the one thing that sticks out to me on this particular section of the page, in fact, two things. Number one is the default tax included, shipping calculated at checkout. I don't like this note. The mention of taxes will confuse your customers. It will put them off. Get rid of it altogether or replace it with something positive to encourage the customer to make a purchase. Free shipping on this product, free shipping for today only, discount code so on and so forth number two is the add to cart button um, it's hollowed out it makes it difficult to see difficult to identify trust me it sounds silly but making this a solid color will make it pop out on the screen and in turn more people will actually click it you have the dynamic checkout button which is spot on that comes recommended by myself i typically remove google pay nobody really uses it and just have the traditional apple pay which is super quick um, and also paypal too moving down we can see you've got a nice sized font and text super condensed which is good lots and lots of different information a nice before and after picture looking good so far and then you go into more and more detail which is really really good the more information about a particular product is great however the one criticism I would have in this section here 
is the fact there's just too much text. People are super lazy nowadays, to put it bluntly. Somebody's gonna make their mind up about your products in the first sort of 10 to 30 or 40 seconds about whether they're gonna buy it or not. In that time frame, they're not gonna read through all these different paragraphs. Try and break it up into bullet points or try and just kind of highlight the positive things which help sell the product in bold. Moving down, we have an image to break up the text, which is good. Lots and lots of more information, a couple more paragraphs. And then we have this image here, which is cool. It demonstrates how the product is working and what it's used for acne, blackheads, grease. Um, solely extracting blackheads does not hurt the skin. So to me, that kind of sounds like broken English. It's a bit obvious that it wasn't written by somebody who speaks English as their first language. So if this was personally me, and I was gonna be investing my money into this site, I would invest money into some custom original images that make um, that look super professional and don't have broken um, English in them. Next up, he or she, sorry, um, goes into the benefits. Again, lots and lots of information, which is good. Just try and highlight those key points in bold. Three adjustable suction powers, nice. Just demonstrates how the image works. I think a video or a GIF of somebody using this product would kind of like 10X the legitimate the legitimousness, if that's even a word, I think you're trying to get what I'm saying, a video or a GIF of somebody actually using this would kind of legitimize, that's what I was looking for, and this product that much more. More features, six tips for suitable, adjustable suction levels, lots and lots of information, the same image again, and then a what's in the box kind of bullet pointed. Moving into the product reviews, if it was me, I would make these stars, it looks like it looks to me, you can customize these stars to a certain color, so I would make these the accent color of your site just to kind of make them pop and again tie in with that branding throughout the site to make it all look uniform one thing a lot of people forget to do is read through the reviews and just get rid of any that have broken english or in a foreign language this will put customers off um, 53 reviews which is good i typically recommend over 20 so spot on there i'm not going to read through all of these for the sake of the video moving into the footer then there's a couple of things here which i see are missing there needs to be a covid19 prevention um, policy people expect to see this nowadays given the current times we're living in and then i think it wouldn't hurt also to add a track your order page to this as well just to kind of help legitimize your site okay so moving into store number two we have luxury riot um but before we get into it i just want to very quickly say if you're still watching still with me thank you very much i really do appreciate the support on the channel um if you haven't subscribed yet please do make sure you do um so you don't miss any future videos and of course any comments or questions video suggestions whatever they are just comment them down below i do read every single comment so if there is something you want to ask me um then i will get back to you that being said, then let's jump into store number two. So we have luxuriot.com, custom domain, which is good. Um, you can see they've got the accent colors, but it's a bit mix mash, bit mix match, sorry. You can see in the images there's like light blues. At the top we have dark blues, and then in the images, if we scroll down the buy now button, the kind of check marks here on the left-hand side, there's loads of different kind of blues, loads of different kind of reds, and lots of different colors, basically. So if it was me, I'll try and make it as uniform as possible so everything looks nice and, and well uniform and branded and just really kind of slick and professional. 24 hours flash sale, 50% off, plus free shipping worldwide. To me, that's a bit too much of an offer, a bit too much going on there. I'll just reduce that down to potentially 50% off for new customers, use code blah, 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 um, or just simply a free shipping worldwide option. Looking at the logo, um, in my opinion, it's a bit amateurish. Um, I think this could be designed to look a bit better. I would make the L within the blue um, hexagon white just sort of stands out a bit much, um, a bit more, sorry. What you've got to consider is people see hundreds of ads, hundreds of products every single week, not just on their phones, but when they're out and about. Unless your brand like really sticks in somebody's mind and is really, really easily identifiable, then they're not gonna notice it on a Facebook news feed, or they're not gonna notice it on that other website in which you're advertising on or wherever it may be. So the more and easily identify it isable, um, if that makes sense, um, the more likely they are to notice it and the more likely they are to then click it, which is obviously a good thing. So moving down, we have the Luxury Art Pro TM trademarked. Um, the number one knee massager. I've actually seen this product before. It's a pretty cool product and I think the actual benefits of it are pretty legitimate. So as long as you can put across that information um, and present it nicely, then I see no reason why you can't make this a success. Ultimately, this is all gonna come down to the content 
um, you have behind it. You need to get people, real life people, um, people who fit your target market using this product, being videoed using this product and talking about how good it is. This is what will sell it. Um, we have a nice, okay looking image here. There's no option to like scroll across. So this is the only image I can see at this point, which isn't, isn't great if you ask me. Um, I would try and get some scrolling images so people can flick through, see all the information super quick. Like I mentioned in the previous review, those first 10 to kind of 20, 30 seconds somebody's on your site is key. Moving down, we have the buy now button, which is kind of shaking in blue. I'm not a big fan of these. However, I have seen them work on successful stores before. So each to their own, something you could perhaps split test. No dynamic checkout button. I would definitely add this, give people the option to use um, a trusted payment method such as PayPal. You've got your kind of um, check marked benefits and features, easy to digest, no problems there. And then straight into a bundle offer. This needs to be at the bottom of the page. At the moment, I haven't seen enough information to commit to spending 85 pounds. There's no way I'm gonna to commit to spending 140 pounds this quickly. This needs to be further down the page. Moving down then we have the money back guarantee, flash sale, free ebook and compression socks. But then the countdown timer isn't working. So again, this is a big put off. If I was a brand new customer coming to this site now, I probably would have left already. So this needs sorting out as soon as possible before you start running ads. We also see in broken English that needs to be also seen in or as seen on or something like that and um, they adopted luxuriates with like a gray tm on the right so just make that all blue make it all uniform then we have kind of like a blue outline mark with different reviews which is fine um moving down this is quite a nice looking image just kind of pointing out different features of the product the device your body has been waiting for perhaps make this a bit more specific um, your knees have never thanked you so much. I mean, that was pretty rubbish in fact, but just something more specific, make it clear, 100% crystal clear exactly who this product is for and what body part is for. Key features um, in bold and in the kind of dark blue, which is a nice, nice feature. You've got the buy now button, if you haven't noticed, which is stayed on screen, which is good. A product like this, there's so much information to put across, you need to make it available to add to cart um, at any point. So having that kind of sticky buy now button is good. Discover the TENS TM technology, more and more information, lots and lots more information. Really like this image. If you can condense all these images and put them at the top so somebody can scroll across and see all the info super quick, um, I think that would be a really good thing. More and more info, you've got the branded box there, which makes it more look more more legitimate, more professional. Um, again, you've got some more ticks. Got a nice kind of little feature image showing the different people who would use it and so on and so forth. Looks good so far. And then we have a new kind of feature area thanks to its compact design. Obviously there's a lot of information to read through here. Um, so obviously make sure you spell check this. One thing I'm a big fan of is copying all of your product description, putting it into a Word document or a tool like Grammarly and getting them to spell check it just in case there is any broken English or missing punctuation marks, so on and so forth. Heat and temperature will relieve your chronic pain. There's so much information about this particular product. So obviously you've got a spelling mistake there. So our customers, obviously it needs to be our customers, love us, here's why. All the things you do, all the things other people do. Again, you've misspelled cost customer um, in this particular section. Technical details, warranty box content, delivery information, frequently asked questions. I would perhaps have buttons kind of like situated at different points through the product description that take people down to the reviews so they can get there a bit quicker or take people back to kind of like key points within the product page in which people need to go to. So for example, um, to the top. Looking through the reviews, nice looking review app where people can upvote, downvote, um, lots of really kind of in-depth reviews. So everything so far is looking pretty good. Nice products, you've got your track my order. Let's take a quick look at this before we move on. Pretty basic looking to be fair, perhaps build it out with a paragraph of text just explaining how it works. By now about us contacts FAQ track your order so no issues there so just really those few kind of minor teething issues just kind of tidy up the website make it look that much more professional um, great product if you can certainly fits the bill of kind of like the ideal target audience on Facebook so yeah lots of potential with this particular site moving on to store number three then we have care baby online so 
first thing that strikes me on this particular page is the pink. Um, pink is a really difficult color to make work. It's a slightly different pink, the logo as well. Um, I'm not a major, a massive fan of this logo with the bubble writing. It makes it hard to read. Again, going back to those points I mentioned earlier on in the video, you wanna make it super easily identifiable. Um, it looks a bit basic. If it was my store, personally, I would get this redesigned before I start spending any more money on Facebook ads. Nice big cover photo, people smiling, kids featured, obviously in a baby store, super relevant. Customers love our products and reviews, which is fine. And then we go into a particular product. But what I'm gonna do is skip this, check out the menus, bouncers, push chairs, bags, playroom, contact us, track your order, perfect. Let's go for bags then, seeing as that was like the product that was on the homepage. So image wise, looks good. Oh, in fact, it keeps bouncing up and down, if you can see that. Um, I would fix that, so I'd probably crop this one out or perhaps make these bigger so they're all the same size. This is what I was on about on that previous store. If you can get some images, people can flick through and gather lots of information in one go. Um, then again, it just makes it easier for them to condense that information super quick. They don't get bored and they don't get put off by lots of different text and so on and so forth. And they can make that decision and make the purchase. They've also got rid of the default tax notes, which is good. 10% off, use code NEW10 at checkout. Perfect. They've got different colors. Let's see if it changes the image. It does, which is good. They've got the hollowed out A to C button. Personally, I'm not a fan of this. I'd make this a solid color. And then they've got the Apple Pay and I'm assuming they'll have PayPal as an option too. So moving down into the description and features. Now there's five bags included in this bundle and yet that's all the information at the bottom. So half a page worth of information about this particular product. This needs building out significantly, substantially, sorry, in order to kind of convince somebody to buy the product. There's just not enough information there for somebody to feel satisfied. What you've got to try and sometimes do is kind of take a step back, think of all the particular questions a customer would think about a product or need answering about a product, answer all those questions within the description, within the images, and if you do that correctly, then they're going to make a purchase. Moving in, we have great reasons to buy from us, buy with confidence. This section on the screen here looks absolutely wicked in my opinion. I've seen this on lots of different stores before, lots of different successful stores. So if you can take this kind of same design and same premise and kind of same principles of this and apply it to the description and features, um, then I think you could really, really make it work. Um, or at least improve the results you've had so far. Looking at this, now there's five different bags. However, in the specification, there's only dimensions for one particular bag. So that offers up confusion. Is that all of them packaged into one? There needs to be some sort of video or GIF that just explains how that works. Um, and then that is it into our customers also love and customer reviews. So. The attention of the customer here is gonna be bouncing back and forth between different products. What I would do is push the reviews above the our customers also love. Keep all of your customers' attention on this one particular product because people tend to make their mind up by the time they read the reviews. And if at that point they've decided they don't wanna buy the product, then they get hit with some other products which then might kind of um, regather that attention and keep them on your website. Moving into the reviews then, if we have a quick flick through these and see all Sandra left a three star review. Good quality products, but there were no measurements I could see in a description. They came much smaller than I was expecting. So as you can see, there's already been confusion about the particular products. So this needs fixing if you plan to go on and test this product. Moving down, some nice images of the actual product. Good looking reviews for people to see. Um, that's a really nice image just really kind of legitimizes everything. And then we've got the footer with the pink as well. So there's four different colors on this. You have the white, you have black, you have this kind of bluey, purpley color, and then you have the pink. So try and reduce that down to just those three main colors if you can. With that being said, then if we add this to cart and just go through the purchase process, because we haven't done that with any of the sites yet. So the drawer comes out and then you have to hit view cart to take them to the cart. It's just an extra click, which isn't necessary. Skip that step, go straight to the cart page when somebody hits add to cart. I'm not a massive fan of this free shipping bubble. Um, so perhaps test this, split test it two weeks on, two weeks off, see, see if it makes a difference. And if we hit the checkout button, it should take us to the checkout. We'll get hit with a upsell offer, which is cool, which is perfect. Um, try and make it super relevant to the actual product, the trigger product. Um, on this instance, I'm gonna hit no thanks. And then what I'm looking for in the checkout is that they've uploaded their logo, which they have nicely at the top, straight into the checkout process. 
So with that being said, guys, that is it for today's video. Um, hopefully you learned something new. Hopefully you spotted a few things in there which may apply to your site and help you improve it and ultimately help you make a few more sales. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please do me the favor of hitting that like button. Please do make sure you comment and subscribe. And of course, any comments, questions, video suggestions, whatever they are, post them down below. I read every single one, so we'll get back to you. One final thing then before you go, if you are looking for a course, slash kind of like mentorship program make sure you check out my ecom academy it comes with all the video content you could possibly need plus my personal support and guidance if you want to hop on the phone with me as well um, go through any questions you have about the course about joining about your current situation um, then we can do so as well it's completely free to do so just make sure you check out the first link in the video description thanks again for watching and i'll see you in the next one